Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and today I'm here with a home decor video. I'm actually going to be taking you along the journey from when I first moved into this new townhouse that I live in right now, all the way until present day. So I've been living here since April, so it's been a few months, and I've done a few DIY projects. I've gotten some new furniture, I've made some new artwork for my home, and I've been basically vlogging the whole process ever since April, and kind of doing things little by little. I really did not want to rush the decorating process this go around I feel like in previous apartments that I lived in I was just in such a rush to get all moved in and get decorated and post my apartment tour that I kind of just went out and bought a bunch of random stuff threw it up filmed my apartment tour and then that was kind of it but here it really feels more like home here it is a bigger space I think and I hope that I'm going to be living here for a little bit longer so I really wanted to take my time and really make it my own so yeah basically I'm just going to be sharing with you guys the little vlog clips that I've been recording throughout this whole process and just kind of talk you through it and walk you through it just to try to give you guys some inspiration and answer all of your questions so basically I live in a two-story three-bedroom townhome and if you guys want to kind of see what it looks like on the inside I did post an empty house tour so if you guys want to see the layout I will link that video down below but basically I started off with my daughter's room so I have a one-year-old daughter named Zaya in my other apartment she had her own room and I decorated her nursery and I posted that whole video so if you guys want to see how her old nursery looked in my previous apartment you can watch that video I will link that down below as well so in this nursery there was no reason for me to just get all new furniture and do an all new theme or anything like that because she's still kind of in the same age range she's not really old enough for her big girl room or anything like that so I kept all the furniture, kept all the decorations, and I basically planned on just like transferring the exact room over into this townhome. So that's basically what I did, but I did make a few little small changes just to kind of like spice it up a little bit. So the first thing that I did was I went ahead and switched out her cubby boxes that are in her cubby shelf. The actual shelf is from Ikea, and then the boxes you can get from a bunch of different places. I got hers from Target, but originally, when I first decorated her nursery in my old apartment Target didn't really have a wide variety of colors and styles of the boxes they kind of just had like gray white black whatever so she had gray boxes in her shelf but then I went back to Target and they came out with all new stuff from their pillow fort collection which is like their kids and baby stuff which I just y'all know I love Target disclaimer in case you don't know me in case you're new here I freaking love Target I shop there all the time so they had came out with a bunch of new stuff and it was like in my favorite color scheme of like the pink the gold and like the mint green turquoisey type color so I went ahead and got her new cubby boxes they're pink with little gold polka dots like just literally perfect I wish they would have had those when I first uh, did it because I wouldn't have wasted my money on the little ugly gray ones but I always try to repurpose everything um, a lot of times when you move from place to place a lot you end up having stuff that doesn't quite fit in your new place so with the old gray cubbies that I took out of Zaya's room I was like I can use these in my closet to hold some of my flats in my you know my shoe area so that's definitely a tip for you guys if you move into a new place and a certain item doesn't work the same way it used to try to see if you can use it in a whole different room before you throw it out and then a little bit later on I wanted to bring in a few little new touches to Zaya's room just to like zhuzh it up a little bit so I went to Michael's and Michael's always has really good sales I don't know if I'm pretty sure most places have Michael's craft stores and they always have coupons they always have sales you can sign up for their little uh you know freak whatever coupon card thingy and I have all of that stuff so I feel like I always get such a good deal when I get stuff from Michaels and they were having basically all of their fake flowers and fake plants on sale for I think like 50 or 60 percent off whereas if you were going to Target or Home Goods and buying like little fake flower vases it would cost you anywhere from like 12 to 20 to 30 dollars for like a little cute flower vase whereas you can go to michael's 
get the flowers customize it pick whatever kind you want because you know michael's has like a huge array of different types of fake plants where you can pick one by one make your own little bouquet and they were like 60 percent off and then they also sell different little pots and stuff and so i got one just nice pretty white ceramic pot that kind of was just good to go and then i got one really cheap little like regular pot like the terracotta stuff but they sell paint at michael's for like literally 50 cents or a dollar paint the pot whatever color you want and boom you got your own custom flower arrangement to put into your room so it's definitely a more cost efficient and more custom way to get that fake flower bouquet for your room and then also in the fake flower section michael's had this little string of flowers which i had actually never seen anything like that before in the fake flower section maybe i just wasn't paying attention but it's like a little vine of like tropical really cute flowers so i went ahead and set up zaya's canopy reading nook the same way that I had it in her old room just like a little canopy that I got from Ikea some pillows at the bottom and you know screwed it into the wall don't try this at home I just stood up on her dresser because I don't have a ladder get it how you live um so yeah I just set that up and then I just draped the little vine of flowers around the canopy just to like add a little pizzazz to it also in Zaya's old nursery I had these little gold glitter letters that I made that had spelled out her name they were just little cardboard letters that I got from the craft store and I covered them in gold glitter and I love them I just love the way that they looked and I would use I use them at her baby shower before she was even born and I used them at her first birthday as part of the decorations but after her first birthday I couldn't find them I was like what happened to them I, I thought I brought them home like I know I didn't throw them away did somebody else accidentally throw them away at the birthday party and I was so sad because it was just almost like a sentimental thing because I had made them before she was even born and I was really sad about it and I was like I have to make replacements of those little letters so I went back to Michael's they didn't even have like the same little cheapo cardboard letters that I used before but they had like these nicer like actually wooden letters and these ones were like in a cute little cursive font so I was like okay a little bit of an upgrade okay maybe I'm not too mad so I just basically made them kind of the same way that I made them before basically I just laid them out and this time I actually spray painted them gold first just to give like a nice background color since they were white and I didn't want any of the white poking through. So I just spray painted them gold and then I just used spray adhesive which is just sprayable glue and I sprayed that on and then I just sprinkle, I sprinkled two different types of gold glitter all over and just put a whole bunch of glitter that way it was just completely glitterified. So I was like okay these are cute it's kind of like a little upgrade from the little cardboard ones but then. So I randomly opened this closet right here and I see this bag of course there's more party decorations in here and of course the infamous gold glitter letters the originals that I made are in here and I looked for them everywhere and now I find them literally minutes after I set up the new ones that I made to replace these so I'll probably keep the old ones just for like sentimental reasons but I'll put the nice new ones up in her room. I also got her a little pink and gold bunny piggy bank from Home Goods. It was on sale for like five dollars or something like that and it just fit perfectly in her cubby to just like finish off everything and make it look all put together. So her room is not going to look totally different or anything like that but I do like the fact that I was able to kind of revive her room with a very low budget just with like a few little custom accessories. Onto her bathroom, Zaya does have her own bathroom once again and I wanted to make it kind of fun and you know make it for her so I went to Target and I basically bought a whole bunch of stuff for her bathroom and they kind of had this little theme of like this birds of paradise very tropical hot pink kind of theme so I got her shower curtain got her a bath mat got her a little decorative towel to go next to her sink and then I have this hot pink like tropical candle and I just brought in some of her old decorations that I had in her old bathroom and boom that's her bathroom done. Now moving over to my bedroom one of the first things I did of course was set up my bed. You guys always ask me about my bed frame. It is vintage. It's very very old. It's been in my family since before I was born. It was my parents bed 
like before I was born, I think. And then they gave it to my older sister and then she gave it to me. And it was originally like a gray pewter color. And then when I had first put it in my teenage high school room, I painted it white. And then when I brought it into my first Dallas apartment after I graduated college, I painted it gold. And then when I brought it here, I still wanted it to be gold, but it just needed to be touched up a little bit. So I kind of just spray painted it again. And you guys, my favorite gold spray paint. You guys are gonna need to know this. This is a major key because I use this gold spray paint on everything and it's the best gold spray paint that I have tried because I have tried a bunch of gold spray paints and they are not all equal when you're trying to get that really gold, like this type of gold metallic finish. Um, it is by Rust-Oleum and I believe you can only get it at Home Depot. I don't see it at the craft stores. I don't see it at Michael's. I don't see it at Hobby Lobby, but I always get mine from Home Depot. I still have my white satin sheets, which I got off of Amazon, which I can link down below for you guys and just my plain white bedding. But I had my Ikea vanity for my old apartment and I had it set up to be where one side had the legs on it and one side was being held up by like a small set of Alex drawers and then I just had like a mirror propped on top kind of just like a little DIY vanity and I have spray painted the legs gold because at Ikea they only come in like black or gray I believe they don't come in gold so I had spray painted them myself with of course my favorite gold spray paint but this go around I wanted to move all of my makeup storage into my studio room because now I have this room that I'm sitting in right now where I keep all of my makeup and extra stuff and I have all my filming equipment and I do my makeup tutorials in here so I really wanted to have basically all my makeup in here so I wanted to move that set of drawers that had a lot of my makeup in it in here so that means I had to put the other two legs back onto the table so that I could stand up which means I had to spray paint those extra two legs so I did that I put the legs on the table moved a little set of drawers into here and I think it just looks a little bit more sleek I, I mean it looks good both ways just depending on what kind of story you want um, so yeah if you do want that extra storage then you can have the drawers on one side but for me I just didn't need it and I wanted it to have a more clean airy look and not take up as much space and then also for my vanity I ended up swapping out just that plain old regular mirror for an actual vanity mirror so I got mine from impressions vanity not sponsored I wish I had a coupon code to give to you guys but I don't it is a little bit pricey but to me I think it's totally worth it so far I have broken one of the light bulbs though so it is a little bit fragile so that is one of the downsides of it but it works really really well the light that it gives me actually allows me to do my makeup in front of that mirror for once since the natural light is coming from behind me with how my room is set up so the lighting is great I love the way it looks it looks very sleek it looks very minimal and the size of the mirror that I purchased fits really perfectly on my little IKEA desk vanity thing that I have so it just really worked out perfectly I really like it I think it was worth the money I do have to replace one of the light bulbs now but it's not that big of a deal um, and I just think it really makes it look more like an actual vanity and for the little vanity stool to go with the table to sit at it's also from Ikea but it started off just being a plain black and white stool the legs came in black and the actual cushion part just had a plain white cushion cover. I do believe that Ikea gives you a few color options, but like they weren't cute. It was like orange or green or something like that. West Elm, which is like an expensive furniture store, they came out with these fluffy stools and they were like circular and a little bit, you know, of course they were nicer, but I wanted one so mad and I was actually going to splurge and get one, but they sold out really fast and I just couldn't get the one that I wanted, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know what? I can turn my little Ikea stool into a fluffy stool too. I already spray painted the legs gold. That was easy enough. And so basically what I did is I went to the fabric store. I got, um, I think I just needed one yard of the fluffy faux fur white material. I think it's called like faux polar bear fur or something at Joann's fabric store. You'll know it when you see it. And yeah, definitely really inexpensive to just purchase like one yard of it. And basically what I did to create the stool, it's really easy. I just took the stool and I took the fabric and I turned the fabric inside out. That way I'm working with the wrong side of the fabric. I draped the fabric over the top of the stool. And then I just went ahead and lined up the edges of the fabric with the edges of the stool. 
so kind of working with one corner of the fabric that way I'm not wasting a whole bunch of excess fabric of course I am going to cut off the excess on the other remaining two sides on the other corner but I just want to utilize the one corner of the fabric that we already have so I lay that out and then I go ahead and I pinch the corners of the stool so it's basically the same concept if you've ever wrapped a Christmas present or a birthday present when you place the wrapping paper around it kind of folds at the corners and you kind of pinch it in it creates like these triangles and basically I'm just pinning and marking where those lines are so I'm just marking everything where the top line of the stool is where the bottom line of the stool is where all the corners are where the fabric meets where it folds on either side just like marking everything that way I know exactly how it's supposed to go when I take it off the stool then basically from there when you have everything marked you can go ahead and cut off any excess fabric from the other side like I said before and then you should have everything marked to where you can fold everything and just all it takes is four stitches you stitch one line on each of the corner folds just to kind of hold it together hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about it's a little bit hard to explain but you're basically just stitching up the corners that way it creates like a cube like half of a cube like a square like it creates that shape of going on top of the stool um, and it just kind of holds it in place but it's literally just four stitches one on each of the corner to hold that little fold together and then you can see when you flip it the right way now all of the seams and the edges are on the inside so you can't see anything and from the outside you just get this nice like square dome shape that just literally fits on top of the stool like the stool is wearing a hat or something so yeah I'm pretty happy with how my little vanity came out it's basically like an Ikea hack vanity because I feel like I took a plain set of like rinky-dink stuff from Ikea and kind of made it look a little bit more glamorous and a little bit more custom and then really the only other new thing that I have added into my bedroom since my last apartment which once again if you guys want to see kind of where I'm starting from and all of the old stuff that I'm using from my previous apartment you can watch my previous apartment tour and Zaya's previous nursery tour just so you can kind of see like what I'm using because I'm trying to reuse most of the stuff from that video so my bedroom is basically reusing all the same stuff but I did bring in this new plant that I got from Target which is so exciting to me for some reason which I feel like that just makes me such a grandma that I get excited about fake plants from Target but it was just so perfect it was the perfect size I felt like it looked really real even though it's fake it did cost $99 but I was looking around at other places and everywhere else costs at least like twice that much so I feel like I got a good deal other than that you guys will have to wait until my finished house tour to see the rest of my bedroom and kind of see how everything comes together moving on downstairs to the living room and kitchen area again I am using a lot of the same furniture and stuff from my previous apartment so I kept my couch and my bar stools and stuff like that but one of the first new things that I brought into the space was this little metal basket that I got from home goods it was very very inexpensive probably cost like ten dollars but it only came in like this silvery green gray color so you know me I have my gold spray paint ready and I just spray painted that sucker gold so it would match my aesthetic and I thought it would be the perfect thing to bring into the space that I planned on making Zaya's play toy area it's kind of like her perfect height where she can like reach into the baskets and hold some of her smaller toys and it does mount onto the wall that way she can't knock it over or have it fall over on her or anything like that she also has her little play kitchen she got this kitchen for her first birthday from her grandma and grandpa and i don't know exactly where they got it from i'm gonna try and find it or ask them and link it down below for you guys if you're interested in her little toy kitchen it's a really really cute and it's her perfect perfect size um, and so I really wanted to make that kind of like the focal point of her play area so I'm kind of combining her little kitchen with her little basket she can hold all of her little cooking supplies and fake food in the little basket and also I wanted to bring in a toy chest because I knew that she was gonna have a whole bunch of toys and in my old apartment I literally just had like this little bucket but now that she's getting older she's having so like she has so many more toys now and I just wanted something that would keep it all put away and out of sight because I am basically using my dining room space 
as her play area so it is definitely in plain view it's right there between the kitchen and the living room so i went ahead and ordered this wooden toy chest off of overstock.com one of my major key places to order furniture from because you can usually get stuff for a really good deal and a lot of times they have like the same furniture that target has but for a lower price you can get it delivered straight to your door and they usually have free shipping so overstock.com is a major key so that's where i got this big old wooden toy chest my dad um, put it together for me and it's very big and it's very deep and it can hold all of her toys and i kind of bounced back and forth i couldn't decide if i wanted to leave it in its raw wood state like it came it wasn't painted or stained or anything and i kind of liked the way that looked but then again i knew that i wanted to bring in a lot of white into the space so i was like let me go ahead and paint it white but i'll kind of just do more of a white wash that way it doesn't look like white white like i Ikea white you know what I mean so I went ahead and I got white matte chalk paint from Michaels again it was on sale I got like three bottles of it I only ended up using half of one can so really the cost of the paint that I really needed was like one dollar and then I painted the whole toy chest with the chalk paint and then I went over it with sandpaper and I just sanded everywhere like especially on the edges where all the like the corners were and everything like that and just sanded 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 my lap away I had white dust going everywhere I probably should have did this in my garage but I was being too lazy to carry the toy chest into my garage so I did it in my living room the white chalk paint and then sanding it afterwards just gives it more of like a rustic finish I guess and then one of the main things that you guys have been asking me about is the artwork that I created for above the toy area so again I went to Michaels and I got these canvases that were on sale once again I'm telling you guys every single time I go to Michaels it's like 50% off 60% off so I got these canvases for 50% off they're like one of the biggest sizes that they carry I believe they're like 30 by 40 inches so since the bottles of paint are like a dollar each I just kind of went crazy in the store and got a whole variety of different shades of pink different shades of like that mint green color I got some white I got some black I got some gold and basically what I did to create this artwork is I laid down a base layer on each of the two I wanted these two canvases to kind of be sisters and not twins because they were gonna go up right next to each other on the wall so I kind of had the initial idea that one of them was going to be more blue mint green themed and one of them was going to be more pink themed so I laid down my base on the canvases literally by doing blobs of paint just so freehand so random there's no rhyme or reason to this it really is really really easy um so on one of them I did black and on one of them I did pink and then from there I literally just took all my different shades of paint and just like started squirting blobs of paint all over the whole canvas a little bit of this here a little bit of that there but yet also using a lot of the same colors on both of them so that they kind of match just like being really random with it and then what i did was at first i used a paintbrush and i got these like really big like messy paint brushes because i wanted to do like those big brush strokes but i found out that it actually worked a lot better to just use a paper towel so i ended up just getting a bunch of paper towel and crumbling it up and just like lightly swiping across the paint with a paper towel and just barely doing enough to swipe the paint across and mix together the colors a little bit you don't want to do too much to where you're starting to like mix the colors together and then everything just turns brown but just like barely touching the colors together being very light handed going from this direction and then going from that direction and I was really keeping everything very side to side because I wanted that look but you could definitely go up and down you could try doing both you could do it in swirls you could do it in circles but it actually wasn't gold enough for me it wasn't shiny enough for me so I went ahead and I took some gold foil leaf which again you can get at Michaels it's literally little sheets little very thin sheets of gold it's very metallic very shiny it breaks apart really easily so I just took little chunks of that and stuck it on two random places of the canvas just to give a little bit of texture and sparkle and there was definitely a lot of thick paint on this canvas 
I lifted it up and tilted it and propped it up onto my garage wall so that gravity would pull some of that heavier and thicker paint down and create like that drippy effect. So yeah, I just let it dry standing upright. The little gold foil just stuck onto the paint. I didn't have to use any glue or anything like that. And that was it. I was really happy with how the more mint green one turned out. I really wasn't happy with how the pink one turned out. I think because it just really wasn't like the perfect shade of pink or it was just too much pink or I don't know but once I hung it up I was like no this is not gonna work so I ended up taking it back down and putting mint green paint all over the top of it and kind of just reworking it and kind of like erasing a lot of the pink and then put more gold foil on it and then just kind of like you know added another layer on top just to make it match the first one a little bit more there's a bunch of different ways that you can make this style of abstract like smeary paint art it just kind of depends on the vibe that you're going for i also ended up making with the gold foil a little canvas artwork where i was trying to mimic this pillow that i had on my couch that i got from target it just had like it looks like little thumbprints like if somebody dipped their finger in gold and just like thumb printed their finger all across the whole pillow and i just really like that pattern and i wanted to create some artwork for my living room where those pillows were gonna be so i was like let me try and mimic that effect onto a larger scale onto the canvas just using some mod podge glue and using the gold foil so i basically like painted the glue on like in the shape of like giant thumbprints and then stuck the gold foil on and then when it dries of course it only sticks to where you painted the glue so you can brush off the excess corners of it and it just leaves behind the little circular thumbprint shape. So I just did that all across the whole canvas. But honestly, when I hung it up, at first I was like, yeah, this is really cool. It kind of matches the pillow. But then now I'm kind of looking at it I'm like, mm, I don't know, it kind of looks like it's missing something. So I am considering actually writing a quote over it, like just using the gold as a background, but actually taking black paint and writing something on top of it. Like, you know, like good vibes only or something like that not that but something else on top of it and just have the gold be the background because it just looks kind of plain and kind of empty so i'm not sure what i'm going to end up doing with that artwork but it's just maybe giving you some more inspiration of how you can use that gold foil stuff i've used that gold foil stuff a lot of times i've put it on furniture you could put it um on your nails and one of the really exciting things that i added into my living room even though i kept my same couch I got two new pink armchairs and these are from World Market and I fell in love with these as soon as I found I was searching I was searching for the perfect pink chairs because I just knew I wanted to bring in more color into the space I wanted to be a little bit more daring and not be so neutral and so rushed like my previous apartments have been plus I have more space to work with I never had space to have these extra chairs before and now I do so I was searching for the perfect pink chair and it was hard because a lot of them were like hot pink or like bubblegum pink and just like too harsh but I found these chairs and I feel like it's a really perfect shade of like a mature pink it's very muted it's very you know it's pink and it still catches your eye but it's just like that perfect shade of pink and i love the mid-century modern style of the chairs it has like the little wooden legs i love the shape of it it's a perfect size they're actually really comfortable and they actually weren't that expensive compared to a lot of other options that i saw and i ended up styling them with some pink fluffy pillows that i got from target unfortunately i think i mentioned this in my past like home decor haul but I bought these pillows at two different times and they're like slightly off. Like one of them is slightly a different color than the other one, but they're supposed to be the same pillow. Like they have the same barcode number and everything. Like I checked, they're supposed to be the same pillow, but they're like slightly off. So I was just kind of like, whatever, hopefully no one notices, but just adding like the fluffy pillow with the chair, it kind of like, you know makes it a little bit more young and a little bit more trendy because you know those fluffy furry chairs are super on trend right now usually you see them in white with like a gold frame and it's like a completely fluffy chair and i always wanted one of those but i having like a white fluffy chair in my house would just be asking for a disaster with a one-year-old it would just get ruined and then like you can't wash it because it's a chair so i was like let me get my pink chair 
and let me just put a pink fluffy pillow on it to kind of get that same vibe you know and then also in my living room another upgrade or like extra thing that I added in was my new coffee table that I ordered from Overstock once again I decided to switch out my Ikea revamped coffee table that I had before I had that glass like two-piece coffee table which I had actually used that same gold foil on to like make the edges gold because it originally comes in just plain white so I had revamped that coffee table I had it in my old apartment I liked it it was cute it was a cute little DIY project but I just didn't love it in the space and also it really is not the best coffee table to have with a one-year-old because it does have sharp corners and it is metal and it is glass so I wanted to get a different type of coffee table that would just be more baby friendly and just hold up a little bit better if that makes sense so I went ahead and ordered this circular well it's like an oval white coffee table and I think it looks a little bit more grown up and I think it looks a little bit more sturdy and it fits the space really well and it also brings in more white into the space so with my old coffee table that I had revamped from Ikea I actually gave it to a subscriber so it's in a good home I'm very happy that I was able to give it to a subscriber so shout out to you girl you know who you are but Ikea gets me every time yeah I keep trying to pull away from Ikea and not get stuff from Ikea and switch out my stuff that I have from Ikea but then I end up buying more stuff from Ikea because sometimes it just works I actually ended up getting a custom entertainment center from Ikea is the most recent furniture purchase that I got I just got it like the other day and basically it's their Besta system so they have this like custom system where you can kind of pick and choose certain options of this entertainment center to make it fit your space fit around your TV fit what you want it to look like what color what finish blah 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 they have a bunch of different options and you just kind of customize it on the site and you go in the store and you get all the individual pieces one by one and of course you have to put it all together and it took a very long time to put this thing together but I'm really happy with it because it's just so plain and minimal but it gives a bunch of excess storage that I actually don't even need right now like that thing is completely empty right now because I don't have DVDs or excess random junk to put in there but it gives me room to grow which I really like and that's what I really like about this townhome in general I have a bunch of storage in here like I have hella cabinets and closets and furniture pieces that are just empty because it's just room to grow and I think that's really really good um, but yeah I didn't want to get any intricate furniture piece I didn't want to get anything once again that was gonna be glass or metal or just like be hard to clean or hard to keep up with because it is right down there on Zaya's level so I just wanted something that was gonna be flat white you know it's IKEA stuff it's very like you just wipe it clean so yeah definitely if you're looking for very plain and simple and just like furniture pieces where it's like I need a piece of furniture right there but I don't really want it to be eye-catching I don't even want that to be the main focus of the room then I would suggest Ikea but if you're really looking for something to spice up your room and really add personality to your room a lot of times Ikea is not gonna do it for you and you're gonna have to do an Ikea hack like how I did with my vanity upstairs I completely spray painted it I made a new cushion for it I put a nice mirror on top that way you don't just notice right off the bat that it's just like a plain thing from Ikea. And definitely since this is like my big girl house, this is my home, I am kind of moving away from just like that college life type of thing. I really wanted to have a nice mixture of stuff that's not from Ikea. You know what I mean? Like I know I get a lot of stuff from Target. I still get a lot of stuff from Ikea. I'm always in home goods, but I wanted this home to look more custom, look more mature, look more just done and finished and not look so cheap and generic um, so I'm really trying to either DIY and customize a lot of things or try to get things from different places and like mix and match as far as my kitchen area I definitely got some new kitchen accessories you guys will see how I kind of style everything in my finished house tour um, but the other main piece of furniture that I got I have a built-in desk near my kitchen where I have my computer and it's kind of like my main like computer work space and I had this chair that I'm sitting in right now which was my old desk chair in my actually two apartments ago I got this it's not very comfortable like it's cute and everything and it's cute for videos because it like blends into the white background but it's not very comfortable for actually sitting there and editing videos so I wanted to get a more like lush chair so I randomly went to home goods and I found the Raven Elise editing chair. I mean, it just screamed my name. It's like a turquoise color, which y'all know that's my color, and it has gold 
hardware on it. It has little gold grommets and it actually has like gold, like a little gold metallic, like kind of threading. Like, what, I forgot what that fabric is called, but like the, the fabric is turquoise, but it has a little bit of like metallic gold running through it. And it's a lot thicker and softer and just cushier than this one. Unfortunately, it does not have an armrest. Like y'all can't see what I'm touching right now, but the little armrest on each side of the chair, it doesn't have that and I wish it did, but everything else about the chair was just too perfect and the price really wasn't bad so you know home goods you gotta get it while you see it so i just made an impulse buy and i purchased it right then and there and i'm pretty happy with it i wouldn't say that it's like a hundred percent perfect if i were to be designing my own office chair but it's definitely better than this one and it's cuter than this one and yeah but yeah you guys that pretty much brings us up to present day again i've been purchasing these things and working on these things all the way since I first moved in in April so that's just kind of what I've done so far of course I'm not done yet but as soon as I am done as soon as I perfect everything and get these last few little finishing touches then I will definitely make my finished house tour for you guys so you can see the whole house and how everything came together in the meantime I just wanted to make this video just to kind of explain a few things tell you where I got a few key pieces and hopefully answer most of your questions so far so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and of course stay tuned for my finished house tour and I will see you guys in my next video bye